My name is Takeshi Yasui in Tokisawa University, Japan. I will give the talk on the press release today regarding the terahertz wireless communications. The title is the Successful Terahertz Wireless Communications Using a Mic Resonator Soliton Com. Expectations for next generation mobile communications based on the photonic technology. This is a collaboration research of Tokushima University, Gifu University, Nagoya Institute of Information and Communication Technology, and Nagoya Institute of Technology, Japan. Go to background. The, this slide shows the history of mobile wireless communications from 1G to 6G. Technical evolution occurs every 10 years by increasing the wireless carrier frequency for the high-speed large capacity communications. The present 5G use a carrier frequency up to 28 gigahertz millimeter wave. And the next 6G use a carrier wave over 300 gigahertz, so namely terahertz wave. However, uh, there are still two technical challenges for 6G. The first challenge is the technical limitations of wireless electronics. Until 5G, wireless electronics have been used. However, in 6G, wireless electronics may face a, a technical upper frequency limit. Therefore, there is a need for the paradigm shift beyond the upper frequency limit of wireless electronics. The second challenge is a technical gap between optical and wireless communications. The present ICT is achieved by a combination of optical communications based on the photonics and the wireless communications based on the electronics. In this case, at the connecting point, between the optical and the wireless communications, the signal conversion between optical and electric regions are required, resulting in time delay. Until 5G, such a time delay is negligible. However, ultra low latency is required in 6G. In this case, a time delay caused by the signal conversion cannot be ignored. Therefore, the seamless connection between the optical and the wireless communications are required. These two technical challenges arise from wireless electronics. If so, we can achieve the 6G by photonics in place of electronics, the, these two problems will be overcome. We define the 6G boosted by a photonics as a photonic 6G or P6G. P of photonic 6G is an optical frequency com or OFC. OFC is composed of a series of frequency spike who regularly is spaced by a constant frequency. OFC possesses a both characteristic of narrow line width and the broad spectral coverage together with the constant frequency spacing. The most important uh, characteristic of OFC is given by this equation, in which the new M is the optical frequency of each OFC mode, FCO is a carrier envelope offset frequency, FREP is a uh, uh, frequency spacing and M is a uh, uh, number of OFC mode. Since uh, FREP and FCO are photonic radio frequency signal around the several tens megahertz, this equation indicates a coherent ring of frequency between optical and electric region. For example, FREP and FCO are phase rock to the electric frequency standard. The uncertainty of the frequency standard can be transferred to the optical signal of new M based on this equation. In this case, OFC can work as optical frequency ruler 
secured by the uh, frequency standard. Recently, the optical frequency standard with a much better performance appears. For example, optical lattice clock. In this case, if the new M is phase lock to the optical frequency standard, excellent uncertainty of optical frequency standard can be transferred to the electric signal of FREP. In this case, the OFC can work as a frequency converter or frequency gear from optical to electric region like right here. Such a frequency converter can be used for the generation of ultra-stable electric wave in RF, microwave, and the millimeter wave. However, for 60 e wires carrier over 300 gigahertz, how we can further increase the FREP of OFC? The answer is given by micro resonator optical comb, namely microcom. This shows uh, a temporary evolution of OFC technology. The first generation is a Titan Sapphire comb with a bulky, complicated, and expensive setup. The second generation is a fiber comb with a middle side enabling a tanky operation. The third generation is a, a micro comb. Key of micro comb is uh, a micro resonator made of the silicon nitride optical waveguide. When the CW laser light is coupled into the micro resonator, stable or soliton comb can be obtained. The micro comb benefit from the mass production possible with semiconductor process small, cost-effective, and uh, simple aspect, and uh, high E compatibility with uh, silicon electronics and the silicon photonics. In this way, the microcom gives versatility to OFC. Furthermore, since the uh, uh, cavity size of microcom is largely reduced down to the micrometer order, FREP is largely increased up to uh, the 60 in wireless carrier frequency. Next slide shows the principle of all photonic telehealth generation for P6G. Optical bandpass filter extracts the two adjusted OFC mode from a micro comb with the frequency spacing of FREP. The resulting uh, Two OFC mode generates an optical bit signal uh, at the telecommunication band of 1.5 micrometer in time domain. The bit frequency or envelope frequency is exactly equal to FREP. Then the optical bit signal is converted into the terahertz wave by photomixing with the UTCPD. The resulting terahertz frequency is exactly equal to FREP. We here use a silicon nitride micro ring resonator with a FSR of 560 GHz and a Q factor of 10 power 6. After passing through the optical frequency modulator and EDFA, the pump light is coupled into uh, the uh, micro ring resonator. By rapidly detuning the uh, wavelengths of pump light with uh, an optical frequency modulator across the resonance of the micro ring resonator, the stable soliton comb is generated. The resulting soliton comb is further amplified to a power level of 30 milliwatt by another EDFA. So it is a sufficient to uh, drive the UTC PD. We generate the 560 gigahertz terahertz wave by photo mixing of 560 gigahertz spacing micro comb with UTC PD. REF shows the optical spectrum of micro comb with a F rep of 560 gigahertz at the telecommunication band of 
1,515 nanometer. Then the microcomb is fed into the UTC PD for generation of terahertz wave with the F terahertz. Terahertz wave propagate in free space and was detected by subharmonic mixer uh, with uh, uh, local oscillator uh, with FLO. The resulting heterodyne bit signal with FIF it was measured by RS spectrum analyzer. Right shows a resulting RS spectrum of heterodyne bit. As FIF was 150 megahertz, we determined the F terahertz to be 560.03 gigahertz from this equation. This graph compares phase noise between F terahertz and F rep indicated by red and blue color when the microcomb is actively stabilized. Profile of phase noise were almost overlapped with each other, indicating that the photomixing of UTC PD does not spoil the raw or phase noise characteristic of FREP inherent in the microcomb. Then, so we generated the on-off keying wireless communication at the 560 gigahertz using a terahertz wave generated by photomixing of microcom with a UTC PD. We extract the two adjacent OFC mode by optical bandpass filter. One of them is amplitude moderated by two gigabol OOK signal in a lithium niobet optical modulator, whereas uh, uh, the other is unmodulated. Then they are fiber coupled, like here, and then fit into the UTC PD for a generation of terahertz wave. The resulting terahertz wave propagates in free space of 60 centimeter optical pass ranks and detected by short key barrier diode for square detection. The resulting temporal waveform was measured as an eye pattern like here by a real-time oscilloscope. From this eye pattern, eye is fully opened, indicating the uh, successful data transfer of 2 gigabol or OK signal at the 560 gigahertz. This time, we introduce a research result on photonic terahertz generation. Besides this, we are also researching the use of optical technology in terahertz detection, namely photonic detection. If so, the photonic detection can be realized, the seamless connection to with the optical communication will also be realized. Furthermore, if the photonics can generate and detect the terahertz wave, it will be possible to use the photonic technology for modulation and demodulation for information transmission. In this case, various devices and algorithms matured in optical communications can be used. We aim to realize the photonic 6G by using these three type of terahertz communication technologies. We believe that the photonic 6G has the potential to be used not only for 6G in the near future, but also for beyond 6G in the future beyond. Thank you for your kind attentions.